What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Gamer Day here, over with another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Test Log. I'm excited today, and hopefully you are as well. Uh, we lost a Pokemon last episode, so go check it out. We claimed right there, Gem Badge, and I'm ready to get some stuff going. Today's topic of conversation, because last time I think we had a pretty deep topic of conversation, and so I kind of liked the way that commentary went. So we are going to talk about dust and i know that's a random topic of conversation but when you see what we're doing today it's not as random we are going to go take on the rival aaron and we are going to yeah we're gonna have to do good because if we don't do good then yeah but dust so <clears throat> dust can is too <laughs> dusk d oh my god dust has two different things and it can do two different things. So metaphorically speaking, if you're left in the dust, you're getting put behind. You're getting left behind. But you can also leave dust as well, which would mean in th then that you would be in ahead. But in my opinion... Wait, what? Hey! hey what an amazing bug type move. We stand that. Um, I just said that. Oh, <laughs> the cringiness of what I just said. And then a moo moo milk. We take that too. Okay. But anyway, so honestly, it is pretty common to be left in the dust, but we can always, you know, take those and turn them into something else because, oh, what? Wait, it just Chl Chloris doesn't fight us, right? Oh god, Chloris might actually fight us. Oh no. Sorry. Train thought gone. He does. Oh shit. He fights us. Okay. Anyway, on the note, like there's been a couple times where I feel like I've been just straight up left in the dust. But then there's also been times where I'm the one that's trailblazing and leaving the dust. But honestly, if you get left in the dust, to me, it's just an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to get better. Um, I've been left in the dust a couple times. We can now find hidden items and get some good shit. Let's go. We can do all this together because Bianca's sweet and gives us good stuff. Um, anyway. Like, I've been left in the dust a couple times, not gonna lie, because I haven't been doing everything that I should. Can I get the dowsing machine up? Like, and I'm being 100% honest with myself. I could be doing better in so many different ways if I, you know, if I made other things a priority. But. I think my issue, my big thing, is I don't want to... Oh, I overthink, right? Overthinking is a big thing that I have a problem with. Is this is Route 4, and our encounter for it is a Metapod. Yay! We got a bug type, y'all. Honestly, that's not bad. I don't know why I made it sound like I was so angry with it. Because it's going to be a butterfly, and we just got the TM for Silverwind. So, like, I should not be complaining. Um, but yeah, we're in the desert, so we can talk about dust. Um, and you know, there's always these times where you get left in the dust and you just feel like, you feel very bad. But we will, we shouldn't feel as bad as we do. But our brain, because psychologically when we don't have anybody to talk to, our brain goes, well, shit, we're, we're not good enough or we're not this. But in all reality, we are good enough. We just need to see past the dust. And if we can see past the dust, everything can be okay. And we'll be fine. But it's definitely hard to get your brain to... Or to train your brain to say, that's okay. And it's definitely something I myself am going to work on. And I hope you guys do too. Because I know we fall into bits of depression, sadness, and all this stuff. Because... We think we're not good enough, but every single one of you, every single individual that is here watching right now, you are good enough. Everything is okay, and don't ever think you're not good enough. 
We're gonna catch this thing in a fucking Pokeball. We can't catch it in Great Balls, but catching a Pokeball makes the total sense. As we're gonna add this thing to the team, so woo, Gen One Pokemon. But um, but yeah. So unfortunately, we do. Like a lot of people just don't think they're good enough because they've been left in the dust. And you know, lately. I have been the one being left in the dust. Like, I'm... And so, my brain goes, you're not as important as the people that you're getting left in the dust for. And I, I need to believe that that's not true. And I know it's not true because I have you guys here as... We're going to name this Jonas. We haven't named this anything Jonas yet. And Jonas tried to do a Metapod-only run. So, Jonas the Metapod. Um, But honestly, yeah, we just... We all are good enough. And we're all good in our own respective ways. Like... We got people like Dragon Bro and uh, Spoopy who coded their own video games. Like, that's a feat amongst itself. And so I always want to make sure they know that that's, that's a cool skill to have. Like, not a lot of people have said skill. So it is definitely good enough. Um, and everybody, like, people just don't feel like they're good enough generally. And I'm going to read this. That's the topic this episode. But it's just unfortunate to me as much as I can repeat myself and say things over and over again. That is one that I just want to make sure you guys know. Um, and we all have our faults. You know, we all have great strengths, but we all have terrible weaknesses. Like mine in general is just... I take things all very seriously. I take things way too seriously for their own damn good. Like, I've taken YouTube, and over these years, I have treated it as, like, a job job. Like, it has to be done. Things have to be done a certain way. And if they don't get done a certain way, then it's not good enough. And I do that in my other job, too. Like, my actual job. If things aren't done a certain way, it's not good enough. And I do. I need to take a step back. And I am terrible at doing it. Taking a step back and evaluating what could be wrong or what's wrong. Because if I take that step back, then I can learn things that I haven't learned before. Or things that are different or things that need to be improved upon. And, like, while I've been doing this series, I've been able to take that step back. Be able to figure out ways to improve and ways to get better that I didn't think of before. And it's been fantastic because... I'm able to keep a conversation about a topic that's not Pokemon. And, like, it leads into the area that we're going. And I'm getting better at doing that. And I'm very happy that I am because it keeps the solo series interesting. Because, you know, it's get welcome to the Gamer Duo, the home of the best collab collaborative projects. Right, we do collaborative projects, as you can clearly tell. But... I want to be able to do these kind of solo projects and learn from them. And so if I can learn from them and get better from them, then it works. And I think that you can clearly see a big difference between the two series that we did back to back. If you look at them and I didn't say series is yay. But I think one thing I do need to work on is my intros. Um, my intros can be very almost off balance in a way. Um, and I keep calling the series the wrong series, which doesn't help. Uh, I'm like, well, we're the Pokemon Black Away oh, White too, because I my brain is when I I've never really played White. I've always played Pokemon Black when it comes to this game. Oh, Jonas has an item. What if it's a Master Ball, y'all? What if Jonas just casually had a Master Ball? That would be freaking amazing. I don't think he does, but it would be funny if he did. Um. And so, yeah, there's things that I need to learn. There's things that I need to do to get better. And I want to con constantly improve. That is my mantra. Like, always keep improving. Because if you're not improving, then there's something wrong. Because there's no reason for stagnantation. Stagnantation is literally the absolute backbreaker. It is a killer. If you think you're good enough to be stagnant, then you're just going to fail. You always want to improve and get better. And so, and, you know, I know that that's just something that I've thought forever but it's true like 
Stagnation is terrible. It's it's overthinking and making yourself feel like you're better than you are. And that is something that I'm glad I've never really experienced because I always think of myself as somebody who needs to be better, who needs to do better. So honestly, that's a quality I got from my dad that I genuinely am very happy I got from him because he does. He never steps back and thinks that everything he does. Ooh, Jirachi's learning hypnosis. Let's go. Um, I think that's the time we can get rid of the 70, it's 70, 90, and 50, 95. Oh, God. That raises attack. That raises defense. Or 60, 100. Iron Head's already 100% accurate. Um, but yeah, that is one quality that my dad has that is amazing. Like, his ability to just straight up, like, get better and do better, that's something I'm happy to have gotten from him. It's amazing. Um, oh, I thought it said Doduo, not Dodrio. Oops! Well, we can see what this Dodrio has, I guess, because it'll be faster. And if I can sketch it and live two hits, that'd be great if it's something really good. Oh, never mind. It's just gonna die. I forgot. Chillin's actually <laughs> very, very strong. Um, but yeah, love you, Dad. I know you're not watching, but I love you. Um, oh, all the Cressilies. Wait, what just happened? Are they going away? Oh, they're going away. Okay. This is so weird. I'm not used to this. And now he's going to battle. Look at that animation. Let's go. This is when they started, like, trying to transfer into animation. And then the series of the years, you can see the animation and how good they they are. But this is when they started working with it. And it's kind of cool to see. Hey! Hey, hey, Ron! You love this Pokemon. It's one of your favorites. Dude, we have... We literally have all the ways... A freaking deal with cross type though so it's kind of funny um but no synchronize okay synchronize actually that's the move that works only if you're the same type which is funny we don't have any pokemon of your typing but yeah no it's just interesting and then seeing like things that you can take after in specific ways like that it's, it's really cool um as i should probably just go into beakers but i'm not going to i'm being bad I'm being very bad and not going to be here because I want to evolve Chillin at some point. He is really, really close. Oh. You're level 26. I didn't realize you'd be actually so high up there in levels. I might have to get Chillin out. I might. Yeah, I will have to. Okay, it's not a might anymore. It's a you have to. Um, Thunder Fang. I'll get Beegers in there. Beegers can tank it. Beegers can do good. We love our boy Beegers. Um. Ooh, uh, discharge too. Jeesh. That's that's a bit on the scarier side. Confusion should kill though. Um, but yeah, no, I love everything that's been happening, and you know, I like I said, can't complain at all. Level twenty nine, level twenty eight for chilling. Let's go. Everybody's leveling up. It's really nice. Um. This boy just gave us $4,800. I love you now. Thanks for the $4,800. It's very appreciated. Do we have to go here? Ooh, ooh. Hidden item first, hidden item. What will it be? A shell bell. Doesn't that, like, heal based on how much damage I do? I swear that's what that does. Aha! It is exactly what it is. We're gonna give this to Beakers. We also have to take away the item that's on Jonas right now. Oh, it's the Sea Incense. We can give that straight up to Michael. Ha <laughs> ha! Dude, Jonas had the C incense on him. That's actually freaking amazing. So, like, our top three Pokemon have 
really good stuff. Skip that double battle because I don't want to deal with it. And we'll get that item and go over that way to get that item too. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's been fun. It's been interesting to really kind of delve into those kind of subjects. Well, ah, oh, Walgros, we're fighting Walgros! Yay! I love my Walgros. They're the best. Walgros is hashtag ew. Ugh, I hate this Pokemon. This Pokemon can die in a MF hole because. It sucks dick in all the ways you can. Oh my god. See? Proof of concept. I'm gonna hit myself a confusion. Bet. Told you because this Pokemon is a sack of shit. I hate this Pokemon. It deserves to die. It should not be here. It should not exist. Why did they make this Pokemon? That is the question of the day. Why is Wall Rainy here? Oh, wait. It's here just to screw John. It's here just to screw John. If this thing fucking crits, I'm going to be I'm gonna be done if this thing crits me. I'm going to walk out this room and end this fucking episode if this thing crits me right now. Okay. Shit. Ah! Oh, I hate Wall Rain. It should never have existed. But no, they had to make it. They had to make this Pokemon. Because why not is the real question. Why not make a wall raid? Why not make a tanky as hell water ice type? Because, you know, it won't have any weaknesses that way. Hashtag freeze 2018 bet. Ah, I get so pissed off when I see this Pokemon. This Pokemon upsets me so much that I can't deal with anything else. Literally not kidding. Literally not kidding. Oh my god. Can we get this Pokemon out of my life? I don't need to see it at all. Please. Like, get out. Shoo, Wall Rain. You don't need to exist. Like, I wish there was a way in all of my randomizers so that I could just, like, cut Wall Rain from the Pokemon list. Just not have to see it ever. That would be great. I would really love that. That would be the best day of my life. <laughs> oh my god. Oh look, we got $4,800 for fighting that wall rain. It's still not worth it. Oh my god, I ran right into her. That was my own dang fault. That was my own fault right now. Are we actually heading to Roller Castle right now? Is that what we have to do? Lampet. Yay! I love Lampet. Lampet is awesome. Lampet is cool. You know it's not cool? Wall rain. Um, as Chill is gonna be level 31 after this. So that's nice. Dude, the fact that Chill is gonna have level 31. It's uh, like, ooh, sweet set. Nice. Okay, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. I don't care that my basement is fell. Especially when we should we should knock this out in one. One Aqua Tail should be the, the trick. Is, because this is more of a physical attacker to my knowledge. But we got rid of that. 449. Oh, yeah. See, Chill got to level 31. Let's go. Let's go, Chill. 4K. It's almost like that 4K TV that I would love to have. A Swift Wing. Okay, that's not bad. Not complaining about that. Wait, how do I get over there? Oh, I can go this way. Awesome. TM01 Rock Smash. Yay! We love Rock Smash. It's the best. As this is still not a new area. It's still Route 4. Dusclops. That would be nice. That would have been really nice, but that's okay. But hey, I'm glad I have Chill out because... Chill doesn't matter. Like, chill can literally just chill in the back. And then, where does this lead us? It doesn't change our route. I feel like I'm going too far. Oh, gross. Okay, I know where that is. Okay, my landmarks are back. But can I, and I can't, you can't make your way down. Uh, 
Oh, is that Relic Castle still technically then? That has to be. It has to be down in Relic Castle still. Which this is not Relic Castle, but okay, John. Icicle plate, let's go. We love that. Okay. Wait, what? L we just got lefties, boys! Let's go. Hashtag lefties. Oh, I cannot believe we just got lefties. Yeah! We love our lefties! Uh, lefties is actually, like, freaking amazing. I'm so happy we got that. I don't think this takes us anywhere. Oh, wait. Does it? Oh, this boy heals us. You're so amazing. That is actually very amazing to know that, that that's a free heal, basically, right there. Let's fight this backpacker chick. Um, and to fight this backpacker chick, I do want chillin' in the front. And I actually... I'm not giving him leftovers. I was like, and I actually am going to give him leftovers. No, you're not, John. You're not giving this boy leftovers. Uh, I don't know who would be better to have leftovers, to be honest, though. Oh, well, when we try to use chillin' and it's a water rock type, because of course it is. See, that's what happens when you when you try and make pro plays. The game goes, "Oh, let's just send in a water rock type real quick. Nothing too terrible." You know what I want on chilling though? Energy ball. That would be amazing. <laughs> they tried to obliterate chilling, but no. If I can get chilling in on a like a a grass type or something, which I guess honestly would log be a logical thing to do. That'd be cool. Butterfree. Butterfree can... Chillin' can take on Butterfree. I don't know what Butterfree will have, so... Because I it might live one. And then maybe I can sketch whatever it has, if it lives, Searing Shot. Because Searing Shot's amazing. And I'm very happy to have it. Because that just allows Chillin' to just kind of destroy whatever it needs, he needs to. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it did not live that, but... I guess that's one problem, is I need to get it to live something. Especially because I only have one sketch. Crocodile! Oh! That's a big, that's a big boy. That's big boy threat right there. And it has Moxie. No, it has Intimidate. Okay. If I didn't see the Intimidate pop up, it would have had Moxie. So that's why I said that. Because I didn't see the Intimidate thing pop up as fast as I would have expected it to. What is it? It's going to have Earthquake. I, I bet it'll have Earthquake. Oh, Drill Run. Oh, jeez. Oh, Drill Run plus, plus Sandstorm equals dead, dead. And we don't have any, like, anything to combat that anymore. Oh, beat up. Well, that's fine. I'm glad you decided to be stupid. Because now that you decided to be stupid, I can Aqua Tail you to death. Oh, no! It does have Earthquake! I predicted that correctly. I knew that had. I, I was like, it has to have Earthquake. There's no way it doesn't. As Crocodile goes down, we know it's our only Mon because beat up only hit once. Come on, I want Magmar. I want Magmar. Then I'll have... Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I was going to say, then I have a team of fall fully evolves, but then I actually realize I don't. Because you can get Magmortar in this game. But Magmar would be great to have. Um, as now that I took on these two, I will go ahead and go get the encounter if I can before I end this episode. 
Yep, Desert Resort. The Desert Resort encounter. If I go through here, will it also say Desert Resort? Because I can get Relic Castle, too. It is still Desert Resort. Awesome. That's actually amazing. So our Desert Resort encounter is... A bayonet. Okay. You know, Ghost, Psychic, and Bug trio? That's an interesting... That's a very interesting trio. Not gonna lie. That is a very interesting trio to have. Unfortunately... Oh, wow, wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go! First try! Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I I very much adore that. I really do. I really adore that. Yes, we're going to give you a nickname. We're going to nickname you Sog after my boy Big Sog. And Sog will be on the team, but we'll add him to the layout later. And we'll investigate Relic Castle soon, too. Hit Monchan. Oh, Aaron would have loved me to have that Pokemon. I swear I get, like, Hit Monchan, like, all the time, though. Like, there isn't a time that I don't get Hit Monchan's. Um, Searing Shot should kill these things, though, so we can get mad experience in here. Maybe we can get chillin'. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay. For a second, I thought that was a rock type move, but apparently it is not. I, I, oh, 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 incinerate is, what is the accuracy? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. 30 base power equals gross. 30 base power equals nasty as all hail. Oh, wait. An Asperberry. Okay. And the Absorb Bulb. Okay. Can I go in here? Yeah, Relic Castle. Nice. Okay. This is Relic Castle. And our encounter for the Relic Castle is... No! I hate this Pokemon! Why? I always get water types in here. I could have at least gotten something good. Ah! Are we really... We're really going to end the fucking episode off on getting my least favorite Pokemon. Welcome to trying to extend an episode for 30 minutes for once in my life. I can't go that high. <laughs> I tried. I tried to sing O Canada. But I, one, I don't live in Canada, so I don't know the thing. I just know O Canada. And then, two, of course we're getting this Pokemon, so I don't even want to give a fuck. I don't, like, it's got Haze and Wide Guard. Tell me those are good. Tell me in the comment section below why Haze and Wide Guard is the best set for Wall Rain. It's got Water Pulse. We do know that. So, at least that's something. Oh, wow. Are you really going to waste all of my fucking time? Oh, wait. You're a Wall Rain. Of course you are! Oh, I hate this mon. And it's going to be our only PC mon. So, therefore, we're going to have to use it if something dies. Therefore, nothing can die. Nothing's allowed to die. If something dies, I will die. If something dies, I will die. It's got Water Pulse, Haze, Blizzard, and stuff like that. If this thing dies... If something dies, I will literally die. Because I do not want to use this thing at all. I need to catch at least one more Pokemon before I will be okay with using you. Okay, Wall Rain, I need to catch at least one more Pokemon. Actually, I'm going to go right into... And I would run away from this thing, like, right? Because 
you know, if I... People would be like, John, if you're complaining about it, it's your least favorite Pokemon. Why are you even trying to get it? Because I can admit that it's actually a good Pokemon, but I hate it a lot and don't want to use it. But it's a good Pokemon. It's just like, ah, uh, seeing it just makes me angry. Like, in every way, shape, or form. But we can try, at least we can try and catch it. Excuse me. But even asleep and in the red, this Pokemon's still like, yeah, nah, nah, fam. I'm not going to be on your team. I fucking hate you. Oh, yeah, that's right, Wolverine, because you're my worst enemy. Ugh, I f just can't. Wolverine, get in the fucking ball, please. Oh, wait, you woke up immediately. Surprise. Oh, you got rid of Water Pulse for... I'm gonna get so mad. You got rid of water pulse for Skullbush. Mm. Got rid of water pulse for Skullbash. Great. This Pokemon got even worse. I. Fucking hate you, Walrein. Ah, uh, just get in the ball. Thank you. It should not be that hard, Walrein. You should know better than that. The ice water type, Walrein. Which we're going to name Joy because we have to name it Joy because Joy really loves this Pokemon and it's a female. <sighs> Joy has been put in the death box like a dum dum. That's fine. Well, at the end of this episode, we're going to get everybody to level 30 because things are starting to creep up on us way faster than I anticipated. So the entire team will be level 30, including Jonas. Actually, speaking of Jonas, we did take... And, um... Bayonet. Who hasn't been added to the layout yet. But he, she is a party member, officially. Because, but we have to take the item off of it. Or off of him. Muscle Wing. Okay. But yeah, so our entire party will be level 30. Chillin' will be a Magmar... Um, and next time you'll see me, I'll be in the house that heals me. Um, and we'll be collecting the items. Um, uh, and I'll have them all collected already because there's no reason for you to sit there and for an hour watching me collect items. Peace.